Well, good morning, everybody. It may look like the middle of the night. It's all dark and scary. Got to start up there. It's actually about six o'clock in the morning. So you see a little red light up there. We're gonna turn our shut down. Oh, look at that. We got light. So uh, let's hop up there and check it out. I don't know what's wrong yet, but we'll figure it out. All right. So we got the good old-fashioned Kohler Deck 550. She's an oldie, but she's a goodie. Let's get, bring you into Enhance. So, well, actually, let's take it back to the main menu. So, you ready to set and go down. And we got, it looks like we have an under voltage fault. Let's go ahead and uh, try starting it. Actually, but first, let's take the history. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they tried restarting a couple times. Let's try starting this and see where we go. But I gotta put my ears in first. Okay, so one of the tricks about these controllers is that once you're off, excuse the annoying beep, you could go over to somewhere like uh, engine, uh, see what the engine's doing. Because once you hit it to run, the menu won't change. And I wanna see what the engine RPM is when it comes up to speed. See if it actually comes up to speed. Actually, first, because I don't think it's an under frequency issue, I think it's in our voltage, so we're gonna hop on over here, check out line to line voltage on all three legs. So, contact. there so right now we're gonna pop this guy open which is is uh, behind that covers the DVR and take a peek at it so let me go to my magic bag of tricks I think I'm going to change bits so I'll just set you down really quick okay Since I'm an idiot, put some start right here. We're gonna have to go like that. So, and this will basically this is the control panel for the actual digital voltage regulator. The 550 can it could vary the voltage a little bit, but this does all the heavy lifting. Um, and does all the adjustments to the frequency and you know all the gain stuff for the voltage regulator hence the name digital voltage regulator so we since we just tested it it is putting out close to 480 so it should be fine we're gonna I'm gonna test this a few more times let it run for about half an hour and make sure we're solid before I uh, give it the thumbs up that down there Put shit where it will less likely to fall. Contact. loud I know sorry but if you're wondering this is like about three quarters of all all my uh, trouble calls is stuff like this where it does have I could see a fault on the screen but I get here and I see no symptoms 
So, anywho, it's all. Uh, I'm gonna keep on digging at this. If I find something new, I'll um, start recording again. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find anything else on this. Um, actually, I might pull the back end off. Eh, hold on. All right, so we're on the back side. Uh, you can tell someone's might have been here. Just you know, three screws total holding this bad boy in. I'll see what I can do about that when I before I leave. But gotta have a two hand moment. Pull this cover off. So for whoever's never been in one of these units, or the back end of one of these units, right there, I'm holding the flashlight. Let me put it right there. This right here is the back of that, the DVR. This is the internet connect board. You know, they, basically all this does is it puts plus 12 volts to one of these pins to activate the relay board, which is back down there somewhere. Or the customer, there's a connect customer connection board on the outside, little black box, giggity. Anywho, it's, um, so I'm not seeing anything that's really standing out to me. I'm going to dig in here, make sure, because these are the sensing leads going to the DVR. Um, yeah, the, the fuse is back. Oh, ugh. I just saw them. those fuses right there, back over yonder. Those are the sensing fuses that come off the alternator. And those is what, those right there are what, um, um, the controller reads for uh, voltage sensing. Um, and they're tied into right here. Let's see? And that's where it gets its sensing from. Anywho, it's, I'm going to quit boring you. And all right, so it's starting to get daylight. I just put a bunch of bolts in the back cover. Um, I'm about to pack it up and leave. I want to check the voltage again. But, uh, yeah, I think it's good. So we're going to end it there. You guys have a great day. Yeah, this is how frustrating most of my trouble calls are. Later.